What is happening, people? United Centrally, back with another video. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, New Year to everyone, New you know what I mean? People. New Year 2020, Aaron. Yes, man. Bloody hell, man. Time flying, man, but I left, we left, I left high school 10 years ago. Yeah, man. New decade. Wow. No, we did all. We'll see you then. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the cinema frames in the corner. Bloody hell, But well, you know what? Black don't crack, baby. Black, Black don't crack, crack, you know what I mean? Baby. You can come at you me all day, every day, day mate. We don't know what the secret is, but Black don't crack, but... Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's been an eventful few days. This yeah. decade has flown up by, yeah. man. And you we, know, the older we, you get, the, the, the faster the decade. So yeah, 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 100%. Like, 2010, I literally remember what I was doing in 2010. I feel like it was... I remember, I remember coming back from school yeah. and in South Africa were playing. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, I remember that, you know, that first goal, I was in the kitchen with my mum and I was cooking. That first goal where, the uh, what's his name? Chabalala. Chabalala. Yeah. Put him, Good put goal his, as well. His left. Banged yeah. it top. But you know what? That was a, I remember that wasn't the greatest World Cup. I'm not gonna lie. It was crazy. I feel like it was. It was good because it was in Africa. Yeah. It wasn't a great World Cup, but I think we have got a bigger fix to fix out, and it's United's demise at the minute. Well, it wasn't a good. So I, I, I put the thing out there, and I said, uh, "Man, United." Uh, it's also it's New Year's Day. Obviously, I've been out New Year's Eve. Yeah. And it looked like like a lot of the people in the fan camp said the Man United players were out like us till six o'clock in the morning. I yeah. went at half six. <laughs> I went to a club, and then I went to a house party. And I'm thinking, they must have been with me. But I didn't even know that they were with me. You, you know what I mean? And then they just somehow got there and made it in time for the game in London. Wow. That was um, horrendous, that game. And how anybody can come out and tell me how we played in that first half or in general as a game. I mean, like I said, I you know me, I, I love Oli. Um, like I said, I get accused of having a duvet, Oli duvet, Oli Bunches, <laughs> you know what I mean? All of these different things. Um, but there's certain things I can't defend. And one of the things that in his press conference today, he said, oh, it was two, it was a brilliant game, two footballing teams. I'm like, what are you talking about, Ollie? Yeah. Like, like, there's levels of delusion. Yeah. And then there's a level of delusion. Because I'm like, what, what does that serve you to harp on about the other game when you're getting criticised, rightly so? You and the players are getting criticised, mm -hmm. rightly so. Mm -hmm. In one of our arch rivals, you go there, and that, in that first half, your defence is all over the place. Mm -hmm. The midfield is non-existent. <clears throat> And the, the attackers are not getting anything. Nothing. So what are you doing? And then you sat there, didn't change anything at half time. Mm. And, and then, then all of a sudden, dry. and then all of a sudden, as the second half go, you know what? We put a lot of effort into Chelsea. We've got games coming up. Mm. We're gonna just sit back and protect this two 0 deal and, and give the United did. midfield a bit of the ball. Yeah. But we're still gonna keep our <clears> positions <throat> and not let them have a sniff. Yeah. yeah. And then you're saying, oh, it's too good. It was a two. It was two. Teams that were fantastic. It was a, it was Come a good, on, man! It was a good Listen, game. you know a good what? Game between good t two good yeah. teams. I can't defend that. I can't defend those those statements. It's very difficult for me as somebody who understands what you try to do. I understand what you try to do in terms of. But what was the game plan, though? I don't know what the game plan was. It was we didn't press. Yeah. We didn't attack in, uh, in, in, in any kind of shape. We did, you know, we did, you know, when we had the ball in transitions, it wasn't very good. Mm. What was the game plan? Because our setter came in and you could see exactly what they were doing. Mm. Abamyang did not one time yeah. target one Bissaka. What he did was very clever. He got in between the lines, almost like an introvert left forward. Yeah. And then what he did was he got into spaces between Harry Maguire and, and Wan Bissaka. Or yeah. Harry Maguire, no, no, I mean Lindelof, sorry, Lindelof and, and Wan Bissaka. Yeah. And then almost they were they were caught in two minds. One bit second when it was going forward was getting getting caught in a break. Yeah. So for me, Aaron, there was no game plan there. There That's was true, literally man. none at all. And I said before the game, like this game is gonna be one in midfield because the midfield is gonna be key. And losing Pogba before the game obviously was was a big blow. Yeah. Not having McTominay there was a big blow as well. Yeah, actually, energy with that the, game, yeah, the energy. With his energy, we could have, you know, we could have gotten a good result. Um but yeah, I could see in that first half. The one they really tried to nullify was Fred, and they mastered that. Yeah, like they did. Even Özil, man, Özil, who's being labelled as lazy, he worked his socks off. Uh, they did all you see the, tried... the kilometers they ran. I think Özil was one of the top. Yeah, one of the top. Yeah, and they nullified Fred because they know Fred. Once he gets the ball, he knows how to play that pass forward. He knows how to play in between the lines to play it into someone's feet. Like they know he can do that, so they tried to nullify him. They did that, and yeah, once they nullify Fred, what can Matic do? What can what did Lingard do? Do you know what I mean? Like because they Lingard and Matic are not really threats. If you yeah. forget what I mean. So, but, but they didn't just do that. They also <clears throat> what they did was it's called the, it's like a triple it's, um, strangulation, mm -hmm. yeah, triple yeah. strangulation where one guy gets on the ball and quickly from you see how, how the diagonal, diagonal right so yeah, yeah. angled one in front, one at the side, one behind. They literally strangled the ball out of you. And you know who they strangled? They did that, they did that to Juan Bazaka. Yeah, exactly. Juan Bazaka, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man City exactly. did exactly the same. Where's yeah, yeah. Arteta just been? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man City. Yeah. 
In the if you in the, in the first half when we were playing well and counter attack and City and we could have been four goals out of sight. Yeah. Uh, Juan Basaka, even from the goal kicks, is the is the ball out. Yeah, exactly. In the second half, they strangled that 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 side of the bit, tripled up on him. Yeah. And what they did then, they pushed us for thirty yards or even that number. They were twenty yards deeper inside our yeah. own half. Yeah. And that there was no outlet. Once you do that, if you got players standing in front of you, you cannot kick the ball into their heads or try yeah. and chip the ball unless you're a very technical footballer yeah, yeah, yeah. unless you've got your own little triangle and you know somebody's going to drop in the hole I mean the, the thing about it in that first half um, against City it was Lingard that was doing that Lingard's dropping in that hole in, mm. that, fourth, in that, that false number 10 kind of figure for the first uh, 10 minutes yeah yeah and, and picking the ball up but against Arsenal a real Ferdinand best described it real Ferdinand said when when Oli came here in the FA Cup game or in the league game last season, there was a there was a there was a plan, there was a structure, yeah. there was a way of Man United doing what they're doing. Mm. We played with four three three formation. We knew exactly what to do. We were going to soak up the pressure of us. And check my tweets out. At every game, I'm predicting what's going to come. I <laughs> swear to God, I'm predicting no because it's not Rockets. I know that I know it more than any of the fans. Yeah, I true. know what the abilities of the other team is. Yeah. I said. Arsenal are not going to come for us. We need to ride out that pressure. Yeah. And then we need to attack accordingly. Mm. If we get the first goal, we can win this game. So mm. were, we, were we overconfident then? Oh, no. In the first 10 minutes of the game, obviously you've been there yeah, yeah. watching it on TV. But we were, TV we and being there is totally different. It's totally yeah. different. We didn't, different. We didn't, different. We didn't right. release the ball quick right. enough. In the first 10 minutes, in the first like 5 to, to 10 minutes, we, we, were, like, we, were, yeah, we were in the game. We were in the game and we had a bit of a p- p- pattern to play. So... Exactly what they were doing. Rashford will come inside Woods. Luke Shaw was meant to go outside, right? And he was attempting to do it. After that, after that first 10 minutes, soon as they scored, after that, the crowd got involved. Their pressing plan came into it because they were fearful. The Arteta can coach the players however he wants, but they're fearful thinking, Dan, Dan James was outside, Rashford near that, Martial down the middle. If they, if they get the ball, we're in trouble. Pereira was literally sh- just looking well, after. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, looking after the back four. He was just like the two centre halves. Yeah. He was he stood in front of them. That's what he was doing, right? Mm. And they were fearful. But then when they found out, oh, actually, they haven't got anything, and, we, and they scored. They were like, let's hammer these donkeys. Mm. And that's what they did. And I'm sorry to say, but Man United players were full all donkeys. They were just we played lethargic. And the be- best thing everybody's telling me, there already you got. I give credit where Matty just to because, like he said. Most of you who know about football, Aaron just pointed it out. They didn't, they said to Matic, have the ball. They t- kept on Fred yeah. because they know what Fred. does he do? What has he been doing for two months at least now? Yeah, yeah. Moving the ball yeah. forward yeah. quick, quickly. Yeah. So they're like, give this guy who has 20 touches on the ball, run us into this invisible dark alleys yeah, on the yeah. football pitch. Yeah. We, give him time. I think, yeah, I think we had eight men on the pitch, you know. And this is not being disrespectful because yeah. we had three ineffective players on that pitch. Luke Shaw, that's one. Mm-hmm. There's no agenda. Let's, let's, get, let's not get it twisted. No agenda. No, it's not agenda because I can see it now. Everyone can see it. You, you were, you were, you were the favourite. And, and I've defended this guy for You defended years. him, yeah? Yes I've or defended no? this guy. Jesse Lingard. Yeah. First 10 minutes, brilliant, I thought. But he never released the ball quick enough to Martial. Mm-hmm. There was one room where Martial made. Not releasing quick enough. Only juice. Only juice. juice. <laughs> uh, you're going to need a lot of that. And the third one was Matic. Yes, Matic. Kept the ball nice and tidy, mm. but was he effective? You cannot just have it nice and tidy if you play for Man United. Yeah. You, you know this respect. You can play for Burnley and do that. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, and tidy. Pass to the better players. But if you're in that midfield and you're a midfield two of the base, because Lingard's not really a midfielder. I don't really call Lingard a midfielder because yeah, he never yeah. tracks back. Yeah. Have you ever noticed with Lingard? He never ever intercepts the ball. Never. Every time when he's on the edge of the ball, he's always running away. There was yeah. one time where I think it was Shaka. He did a three sixty turn and he left. Lingard behind him, and I was like, "This is where we're at now." No, no, no. So, listen, you know what? Old, old Lingard used to try and hustle in, in the back in the day. Make, like, make like mistakes. There, back in the day, old Lingard will might try to get energy. And this Lingard now, he's been out all sorts. So he's, I don't think he understands what football decisions he's yeah, making. Yeah, I know, I know. So he's, because he's not fully there. He's not fully there, and yeah. he's not fully present. But a proper football club. Would, would, give, would, would know and say, you know what, take yeah, him out, yeah. build his confidence up, build him up and then get him back in. And then obviously we didn't have nothing to prove for Rashford again. Mm. And I know a proper coach would tell him where to go. No, he was, to be fair, he was making the runs. But he was making the runs, but yeah. still though, Aaron, we didn't have no game plan. And what does that count to come to? To be fair, the the made front. To be, I feel sorry for Martial, um, and Rashford, Rashford, because they're too... And Dan James like, as well. And Dan fair. James as well, yeah, because these, especially, well, Dan James... Hasn't got a quality, has it all? No, but the thing with Dan James is with a proper coach, he can actually improve. Mm. And if you think about it as well, 
Daniel James is actually more effective on the left wing because when you look at the Massively. start of the season, Massively. he's yeah, yeah, yeah. For Wales as well. Wales as well. Like, look at the goal he scored against yep. Southampton. Left, uh, left side comes in. Curler. Boom. Top bins. Um, he scored so many. He had many games, many good games on that left hand side. And going back to Martial and Rashford, I just feel sorry for those two because since Van Gaal, they've just been mismanaged. And right, <laughs> even right now, people are saying, and I know people say that, you know, Oli has improved Martial's overall. Game play, him playing as a number nine, but I just feel like it's 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 rocket science for him. Like he knows that if I play as a nine, I just have to. He just knows that kind of stuff, and that it, that is because the way point, bro. the way the way they've been coached when they were kids in yeah, France, yeah, they easy. just it's easy. Do you easy. know what I mean? They're being coached to play in different positions. Look at the forwards that France have. Like apart from Giroud, who only knows how to play up top, Griezmann can play across three position, yeah. positions. Coleman can play across, as well. And the ten, Gries, uh, Coleman can play across all positions up yeah. front. Martial can play across all positions up front. Exactly. Who else? Uh, Dembele, can do as well. Dembele can, can yeah. play across all positions up front. Mm. Lacazette can do that. So they all have got those brains. Mm. So it's not, it's not surprising to me that Martial knows how to play as a number nine. Yeah, so yeah. I just think a, a guy like Rashford with the right coach, this guy can be, this guy can be like a world beater. Like trust me, because he's got the talent, the quality is there. But no, listen, I'm not asking for the coach. I'm just asking for players to pass the ball to them. That's all I'm asking for. I'm not asking that for as well. That as well. Coach, so. that, 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 we, that. we are short on midfielders now. Like, so we Pogba, are again. We're Pogba's, freestyling on the pitch out. there. Pogba's out for six weeks. I mean, listen, McTominay, McTominay, McTominay's out not for weeks but months. Yeah, yeah. Uh, March is coming back, so he's going to miss. Today, yeah, I'll put it out there. I'll, I'll put Martial, it out there. Martial and Lingard left training after 15 minutes today. Yeah, because of illness. Because because of illness, like we're short. Illness, illness, yeah, cold. But right now we're short. What flu is it, man? You maybe you might give us some of that olive juice, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> what was it? Flu. Know, man. Yeah, yeah. Because you know what? This time of the year, isn't it? Everybody can get it. Okay, you fair know, enough. Kids, fair all enough. Like, you know, it's Christmas, all over. Everybody. Can. But you just you know, it epitomizes it where you like that. It's everything's becoming like you know mediocre you know, now. Where you know, to be fair, a lot of clubs have illnesses. You know what I mean? I know, I know, I get it. But it's just like at the minute now, it's like one problem after another. Do you yeah, know what I mean? It just compounds. Yeah. To me, I put I put it out already. Because of the games that are coming out, I don't know if I did it on the podcast, I don't know if it was on Twitter or on Facebook, I just put it out, I said, if Man United don't sign two midfielders, right now, to, to, to <coughs> decent midfielders, quality midfielders, yeah. well, in this January, in the, within the next week, right, our season is done out here. So when you're talking about long stuff? No, no, oh, no, please not. Well, that's what, the, that's what we did, we're dealing with right now. Every chance it might come, and you know what, I'll take it, because at the end of the day, it's a midfield option. It's not my personal choice. But I'll take him because you know what? It might have a bit, a bit energy, a bit something that we can we can lead. He, he, you're he's telling me. Also, he's, he's got the experience of playing at the top yeah. club. He, he's a German yeah. international, and that's what I can see. He's, he's Fair enough. Exactly, but yeah. I can't understand this long stuff. He's and not even starting this guy. This is what I mean. He's not even starting and, for Newcastle. And we are relying on long, long stuff. And I mean, we're never getting the right long stuff. That's how bad it is, you know We're never getting getting Matty long stuff. Yeah, we're we're give me that ginger nut, mate. Exactly. Give me that skulls look alike. I'll take him. Point to his tattoo. Well, I'll, I'll take Matty, bro. I'll take Listen, Matty. Show long stuff. It's not going to be the problems. No, no. You might as well put Garner in there. Because at the end of the day, long stuff is not... I've asked my, so I've asked a couple of friends of mine who went to... Well, I asked a guy called Neil I used to go to university with. I asked, Even your uh, other friend, the Newcastle friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt, I've asked Matt. He said he's got decent... They've got decent quality. So under pressure, he can take the ball. He's got... He, he can bring the ball out. He, he's got quality like where he can... Gr- Bring the ball out under pressure. He can take the ball. He can drive out. He's got that bit of a drive to drive the ball forward, yeah. right? But in terms of that, in terms of passing, in terms of he was setting us up. That's how bad he was at our passing. Yeah. He was teeing us up for yeah. that. Marshall, well, that was assist. And his, mo- <laughs> and his, and his mobility. If he's doing more like that, then yeah, bring it. <laughs> <in. laughs> <laughs> If you are, he already assisted a goal for us. And his mobility is not real. Uh, he looks like to me like a Matic. He looks to me, he looks 21, but when he looks at his actual play, he looks like he's 31. Like, his <laughs> mobility is not real. When I was looking at me, when I was looking at he almost turned his body. i never seen him run with the ball. Mm. i never seen him like, you know. No, no, he's got decent drive. He can, he can bring the ball out because I've noticed that because I've tried to watch him think, you know what, when we were linked with him in the summer, I was like, let me see what this kid has got. But is that I'm where we're at right now? That's but that's what I'm saying to you. That's what I'm saying to you in terms of what Man United are. And the funniest thing now, Man United have to, have to back out of it. Because Newcastle said 50 million. Man United thought they could just do cheeky 20 million. No, <laughs> right. no. I don't know. United what tax. Do you know what I mean? You know what United taxes? is? Oh. They don't realise this. Yeah, that, that's... But just going back on the game though. 2 nil against an Arteta team, Aaron, mm. yeah, who knew what they were doing. Yeah. This is this is a manager who's only been here, what, game two games? Yeah, it's like a game management. He came in. 
Absolutely did. He got Ozo playing to his ability. I thought Ozo was done out here at 31. Same. I thought his career's finished now. Yeah. Probably goes to China. You know what, mate? He's a reborn. Pepe, presence and all that, yeah. We can talk about that, yeah. yeah he absolutely finished short. Sure. He gave him nightmares. Yeah. They looked like a team that was organised. That's true. Man. Efficient. Did what they had to do. Yeah. Everyone working their socks off. And, you, you and we had a team that just looked like, like a team that was just out there. Playing for, you know, playing for the shirt. Yeah. Not really had any ideas about them. Yeah. And really lacking the ideas. You and know, was when, he, when he first signed for Arsenal, his first press conference already, I could tell there was a difference. But he came through the door in the <clears> arsehole. <throat> we've like, got a lot of job to do here. He's like, we've got a job to do. I've got a philosophy and a way to play. Either you stick to it, and if you don't stick to it, we'll just put you apart. That already, for me, was like, okay. Yeah. That's someone who sounds like he knows exactly what he's going to do. And what he said afterwards was just, to me, was it wasn't mind-blowing, but the way he, the way he came across, yeah, yeah. it just felt like he knows what he's talking about. When he talked about um, football, it's all about repetition. It's all about yeah. knowing where your team is. And you can see is. that in the game. You can repetition. see that in the game. He said, I want to make it easier for the players. It's easier to know where your player is, so that before you even receive the ball, you know what you're going to do. Auto. And, awesome. it's all to, and it's it comes down to repetition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he said, <laughs> it's easier for you to know where the glass is in the kitchen so that you know where to take it out from. Exactly. Because when you know where the glass is, there's no need to look for it. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah, go yeah. and just take, take it, it out and you have your drink. Yeah, exactly. So you could be talking and I could be like grabbing my olive juice. <laughs> exactly. You know where it is. Whereas if you have to stand up and go and look for a glass. No, I'm not looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised you can't use it. Where's the blade? Just see what I mean? So that to me sounds like someone who knows exactly what he wants to do and football comes down to repetition. Why do you think, and you know, Rams has given this exam example countless times. Why do you think Raheem Sterling scores scores so many tappings? Because he knows as soon as De Bruyne gets that ball, he, he knows that, that curl is going to come in and he knows... It's not just either, De Bruyne, it's Walker, it's, anyone. it's everybody. And he knows either someone at the first part, uh, the, the front first post is going to be someone, well, someone's going to be there. Post, yeah. Someone's going to be there at the penalty spot and yes. I have to make sure I have to be there at the, at the back post. Easy. It's repetition. They do this hundreds of millions of times of training. And do you think they and score every time? And it's so drilled time? up in their head. And do you think they score every time? They don't score every time. They don't time. score every But they, they do keep it. doing they it, keep doing it. Doing doing it. it. Doing That's so, why Reem Sterling's got so many tappings. Like, so why can't we create that? What are we doing then? You said it, you said it. do the same. Um, exactly. there's, there's a clip that came out actually before the, uh, before the Arsenal game. The warm-up. Remember that first goal that yeah, they scored? Yeah, yeah. They were practicing that before yeah, the game, bro. Yeah, yeah. That was identical to what they were doing in, in, in like in the warm up. Yeah. And I'm just like, what are we doing in training? What are we doing? You you alluded to Wilder on the minute, and you said I said to you, it doesn't take a big coach to to implement a style of play. It doesn't take a a a, a, a team full of world talent. It doesn't take a team a full of 100 million players to, to implement a style of play out there. You have to have a system. You don't have a system. And yeah. I look at that ball, and I look at the play, and I look at the uh, back move stuff. Mike Feeling, yeah. outdated coach, should have been should have been retired when he started to retire. Carrick. Failed that hole. Carrick. Failed that hole. Let's yeah. be real out here. He failed that hole, yeah? Carrick. Carrick. Carrick what, what, what United did was absolutely shocking. They said to him, you know what? You, 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 can, you can come in and work with us because you've got a year of coaching badges. For me, you're not good enough. Mm. Kieran McKenna... Yes, he's done things at youth level and you know what, he's done it, improved certain players. But again, is he good enough at the top level yeah. to implement a style of play, to implement some kind of coaching? Then again, you've got this other guy, this ball guy, I don't know where he's seen him, he's always got a tactics ball. Never heard of him in my life. Uh, it's just a guy, it's Oli's guy from, from I think, from... Boulder. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's, 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 he was at United, he was at United, I think. Yeah. So, the so one I, guy, no, the fitness guy was at United. Yeah. yeah. So at the minute now, looking at it. I'm the room stuff shambles, mate. And does that correlate on the pitch though, doesn't it? To me, the only to me like if Oli if Oli's serious, he will have to make a changes in his back room stuff. In the summer, if, if he gets summer, to the summer, that's it. Yeah, that, that's, that's if he gets to the summer. <laughs> I can't imagine Man United going with this coaching stuff like the way it is now because I I can't see anything being done in it. Listen, when he first came, that three months or majority of that season, after even when we were losing games, we still had a system of playing. Yeah, the preseason came. He stopped this, he started playing one forward, two behind, three out, or whatever the book. That's one guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Two, three, one. That's yeah, yeah. the thing that he's trying to play. Yeah. And it's not working. Yeah. It's not, that, that system does not fit us. Three midfielders did. But when you get rid of Herrera and all of those donkeys now who are like, oh, but he, he wanted to, he, he, he wanted to, he wanted to get us for a ransom. He was holding us for ransom. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Paris Saint-Germain came in because Man United left his contract. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They gave him a contract and he was earning 70,000. 70,000 when, when the likes of bloody 
Smalling and Jones and that we're earning more, we're getting yeah, more Jones still earning yeah, yeah. grand. Right, all, all over that. He asked the club, but anyway, the system fitted because we had the perfect midfield. We had Paul Pogba, we had Herrera's and the Patel in that pivot, and Matic was the sitting guy. Mm. Mainly, right? Only sitting. Oh, oh, only sitting guy. After that, the system collapsed. As soon as you take that out, the system collapses. And I think now, he's tried to just work on the defence. And the, the, our defence is... Uh, we have to come back to that. Our defence is <laughs> shambles, right? Please, Please don't listen. blame Harry Maguire. Listen, Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire was sorry, trending. Harry, this is what I was saying to you. Tell this me. Guy, this guy... Tell me what did Harry Maguire do wrong in this, this, this guy inboxes me and goes to me. I can't believe you're blaming Harry Maguire. Beckenbauer. Listen. What, why, why is he you... trending on Twitter? Because... Uh, because in the first half. Bro. Did you know what he was... Lacazette had him on. Listen. No, no. I'm not asked about that. Listen. Can I just explain this? Can you tell me? What is this back for though? Look short. Can I just explain this? Can I just explain this? Defenders being on toast. Attackers to absolutely having a field there against defenders, right? That has been from the day football was invented, it can happen. Really, that doesn't make a good defender a bad defender mm -hmm. if an attacker has has got you in this game or has got you in these games or a certain attackers can are good matchups. It's about matchups. Certain strikers are better. Like for example, Torres. The most that comes to mind, Man United fans, Vidic could not handle yeah. Torres. Torres. Well, just bamboozle him, right? Yeah. Vidic will get sent off. Vidic will work. But that doesn't mean Vidic was not a great, great defender. Mm. Vidic was not a great leader. That doesn't. So the idea of one on one matchup, a defender, uh, um, a attack, attacker ruining a, def a defender, that is nothing new. We laugh about it. We say, like, for example, there are some skillful, seriously skillful brothers out there, like Saha. Like the other boy that is who's playing now in Portugal he used to be at Crystal Palace. Balassi. Balassi. Yeah, yeah. They will bamboozle you, JJ or Kocha. There are men who do that. Who yeah. could just bamboozle you and then you don't know you you're not getting sent to the sock. You put in a, in a four by four cell. <laughs> <laughs> you sat on your ass and you're in a four by four cell. You ain't going shopping or anything, right? But that to me doesn't. Harry Maguire was bought in, right? Was bought in. Right. To what though? But listen, I'm asking, let me finish. Harry Maguire was bought in, he's the captain now. He was bought in as the leader, as the guy to win balls in the air. He was bought in as the guy to organise the defence. Talk, talk, yeah, yeah, during yeah. the game, to push people out, to know where he, the, <clears> all <throat> the defenders are supposed to look to him and go, where do we push? That first goal side, everybody, the game plan would have been, because I'm sure United watch tapes of, 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 of Arsenal, and when they talk about what we're doing in training, you see Juan Basaka step up, you see Lindelof step up, you see Shaw even get in line with them, and Harry Maguire goes like that, dips back in, and that goal came from because he was playing them well on side, where Juan Basaka stopped thinking, well, he's gone beyond me, he's run, and he's offside. So you missed the one where Pepe was roasting Shaw. So you missed the pit where. No, Lindelof no, no, I'm coming to Shaw. Listen, listen, I'm okay. coming to Shaw. I'm coming to Shaw. Getting roasted by a, a winger, getting roasted by uh, um, a, a fullback. It doesn't. Gary Neville was one of the most experienced fullbacks, right? Mark Overmars would see him in and out, mate. Mark Overmars. Mm -hmm. Gary Neville, we speak to him now, but Gary Neville will talk about his quotes out there. Mm -hmm. He had nightmares when he was speaking, oh, damn, I gotta play my game, Mark Overmars. There were just some guys who just didn't. To me, that I don't mind because that's what your midfield and the teams there, rest yeah. of the team, to help you. Mm -hmm. When If you're getting slaughtered, some guy comes across to help you. What I do mind is two things with Harry Maguire. In the past two, three games, in free kicks or corners, Fred has put absolute pearlers in. This guy is supposed to be amazing in the air. Against, for England, he puts it. He against Leicester, he's there banging it in the corners, last minute draws and stuff like that against us. I think he's being hard. He is, he is giving... I am being hard. Yeah, because he's not got Aaron, a centre-back no, next to him. Aaron, no, he no, 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 I'm not talking about his heading. I'm talking about his heading as an attacking force. How many shambles he winning the game though? Listen, no, shambles, listen, shambles, shambles, as, as, as an attacking force, he gets his head to it, but it's like, the ball comes and it's just like, Ugh. like that. Bless him, hit him. You didn't watch the game with his belly. You didn't watch the game with his belly. No, I'm talking about as an attacking, you're not hearing I what I'm saying. I know what you're talking about. You're not hearing, so stick to the point, I'm doing it point by point. His heading run ability from corners and attacking the ball to score goals, or sass, to, to, to kind of mess up people, to mess with people, or, 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 or attackers t to twist and turn you inside mm. out when you're out wide, right? But you offer something when we're in attack. Luke Shaw offers nothing. Absolutely nothing. And this is a guy 
who's been defending him. I defended him, I defended him, I argued with this guy in the summer. <laughs> Last season, I've argued with this guy. I've said he broke his leg, his leg was hanging off yeah. barely. But now All you can see. Now, I, I went to the game and a couple of months ago, I was thinking he's been injured. He came against City, but I'm like, City, the whole team was shackled back into, mm. the, into our own area, yeah, right? Yeah. So you can defend when everybody's tight and close, right? Mm. Where you can, where you get found out is when you're near half between halfway line and your area. That's where you earn your money as a fullback, right? So that over at Lindelof, I don't expect too much. I, I keep but saying then, why, why, why should you expect too much? I don't, play with Harry Maguire. I don't he cost 30 million. Harry Maguire is England's leader. That's England's leader. He's England's leader. He's England's leader. He's got a big reputation. And I just remember he says, listen, are you kidding me? He is. Are you kidding me? He's not coming a big reputation. He didn't come yes, a yes, yes. It wasn't oh a worth that centre back. It's not worth that centre back, is it? All of the time, all the videos are there. The videos on YouTube side. It's not. The videos are on YouTube. Listen, listen. When I was saying to you, let's go and get Koulibaly, yeah. Myron Maguire. And I wanted yeah. Koulibaly as well. No, you didn't. You were like, like, kidding me. Shit, I didn't want Koulibaly. Yeah, Cook, Cook, Cook. Time out. Time out. Listen, Aaron, you got to come on this. Yes, hello. You got to come on this. We were saying it in the summer video. I'm I'm like, I'm I'm like, 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 I'm He's not much of a leader. I've never seen him talking. He is a leader. Shouting. He's a leader. I've never seen him shouting and talking, talking to people. Well, listen. I've never Aaron, seen Aaron, him listen, do Aaron. that or pulling people Aaron, up. Aaron. I see him get messed up, and he's heading ability from corners where every corner now nah, gets I'm directed to him. Every set that. piece and corner gets directed to him. Aaron. He's, he's, he's listen, one on one, three headers, hear me out. and he's giving it to the goalkeeper like hear a pass back. This is agenda. Nah, mate. That's no agenda. That's no agenda, mate. That's simple. I called him in the summer. And now it's bearing fruit. Listen. And now what he's saying to me? You know what he's saying to me? He's saying to me, "Oh, bring two. I'm saying bring a better player. He's the guy that's supposed to be the leader. He's the guy that's supposed no, to be no, 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 no. Lindelof. He's the guy. You're telling me he can He's the guy. How are you kidding me? Let me tell you something. Now, you know, you're how is he supposed you know, to Stam, you know, Stam, you know, Stam. Yeah. Stam was the leader. Stam improved Jonsson's game. I'm not having Steve that. Steve Bruce. These guys improved each other's games. Rio Ferdinand and Vinic. Vinic was, was shaky, was listen, shaky when he first came. Listen, help me was shaky okay, when he came. I've heard you, I've heard you, I've heard you. Hear yourself, there's else. no agenda. Look, facts, facts, facts. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron. Ollie Juice. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, Lord yeah. GL, man. What is here? Yeah. Harry Maguire, he cannot fix a whole defence. And he, for, for me now, is bearing the negativity and, and the mistakes from A. Lindelof. Sure, and Wan Bissaka, when he goes on forward, he leaves spaces. Let's not get it twisted. He does, he almost sometimes gets in there last stitch tackles. So, for me, can you judge him until he gets a centre back that comes in? Yes or no? No, you because, because you. you can't, you can't. I'm, I'm, I am gonna judge him because okay, yes, I get it. I am gonna judge him because we gave Lindelof a new contract, which means that we obviously see Lindelof and Maguire as a long term partnership, yeah, centre back partnership. But it's obviously not working because none of them is commanding, none of them is really a leader. And I agree with Mildred, man. when he came in, we did see him as that leader. We did because he's so commanding for England. We look at the World Cup, we, base, we, base, we mainly based it on the World Cup. Look what he's done there. Look how he, he was commanding in the box. Look how he scored goals. Uh, he scored a goal with his, with his head. Look how he's commanding with, with Leicester. Look, we seen that and we were like, okay, he needs to do the same thing with United, but he's not doing it at the moment. And again, it's, I think it's partially his fault and it's, part, it's, it's partially the fault of the coaching staff as well because at some point, the guy's he's literally a forward, like he's a winger. Like he comes forward, like how is he allowed to move out so, so far like from his defence leaving, Magu leaving uh, Lindelof, Wan-Bissaka and Shaw? And sometimes all of them are so f far up the pitch that when we get counter-attacked, there's no one in the, at the back. Mm. Do you see what I mean? So mm. I don't know what's going on in defence, man. And... and the captaincy as well, man. I have to address that. The captaincy. I don't know how Maguire got the captain's armband. Well, the guy he's been here. For, he's been here for, yeah, but which is wrong as well because I think De Gea is only speaking his mind. Yeah, and, and the truth. Yeah, he's speaking the truth. Who hurts at this club, mate? That's the truth. But you get punished for telling the truth. truth. Exactly. And that's the proof that at no this pun club, intended. Exactly. When you speak the truth at this club, they'll punish you. They want you to stay to be like a sheep and just say everything's going well, we're going to be great in the future. That's what you hear. Even Harry Maguire now is saying um, a loss is not, is, a loss is not well, bad. Well, it comes out for the manager when okay. he goes and says, 
Well, we only lost once this month or twice this month. You know, it's better than what we used to have before. You know what I mean? This is what we have in this culture. That's you know what I mean? And that stems to said, everyone. As a manager, as a manager, when you come out, oh, yeah, that I know. bit there is clipped but, up, and then it made it made it look much worse out, and out of context. No, I understand. Fan Percy, to be sure, he's a big United fan. He is, he is. He is. He is. Fan. Fair play to him, man. Play and you know what the Arsenal fan is hating on that? The fact that yeah. he's, he's their captain, he's one of the United fans. As soon as the United said, exactly. he, he ran there like that. <laughs> but I, I, but understand, anyway, I understand your but, point. But to me, yeah. I, to me, there's certain things we have to go at Oli, have a go at Oli for, and the rightness. So, like what he came out with today, you yeah, know, in the, the press conference. Saying that, that, that game, and the game wasn't, and even his press conference afterwards saying, oh, I thought we'd be played better in the second half and all this. Listen, because Arsenal let us have the ball. Oh, what are yeah. you talking about, mate? And see, when you but say anyway, things like that, you send yeah, yeah. the wrong signals. And then that, what, what brings us because to all this kind of you know debates on like you know fan channels and all that, yeah? Oh my god, it's all about opinion. Oh and people god. that think that you can't have an opinion, yeah, it's absolutely bollocks, mate. Football is all about opinion. Whether you're Oli in or you say Oli's the man for the job and you think he should be given time, yeah. And and and, and eighteen and, months or two year, I said. What did I say? Sorry. And I'm sticking to the eighteen months or two year. Did I not? Yeah, I said yeah. that. I said that. Well, we're approaching. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said that to two years. Mm -hmm. I, I would think, or eighteen months, I would be able to tell how well. And to me, I understand the things he's doing behind the back in terms of bringing that culture of or what it means to play for Man United, especially some of the youngsters like the Brandon yeah. Williams, the, yeah. the Greenwood. He's getting me excited with these things, and because I know hundred percent, if this was Jose Mourinho, mm -hmm. those great Greenwood and Williams. I'm not seeing a day for one minute of the first team. But football. we'd also, we'd also Mourinho be not getting the slack that he... That no, 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 of course, but this is what I'm saying. So, uh, listen, uh, Oli, some of the fans like me, right, he's getting a more because I understand the mess that we're in. It's, yeah. it's deeper and darker than him. It's, it's up... It's more structural things, and yeah. I keep, I'm, I'm just like a broken road, keep saying it. And I'm sick of saying it now, so I don't want to stop saying it because everybody knows my views. So I'm willing to see. But at this moment in time, in certain games, like Rio Ferdinand, Rio Ferdinand was the guy that, in it, he, he gets clicked, he got clipped up in it, him saying, just give it, just let him sign it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, well, that was everyone's favorite. And, and Rio Ferdinand come out and said, mm. that type of structure in the game that we've seen the last two times where we've been to, even when we got beat in the league. We played well, well better than them. Yeah. We played. Shaka scored that mad goal and then they got a penalty. Yeah, they got a penalty. But that was an even game. We played better. As yeah. the fans would admit that we played better, yeah. right? In that game, we didn't deserve to lose. Even Don't though we it. lost, but we didn't deserve the to lose. should have scored right? twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Rashford missed the absolute sitter as well. Yeah. You know, we've got Luc Lucasio hit the bar and was in the post or whatever, yeah, yeah. or missed the sitter. So anyway, but. And that's when we're, where Shaw was putting in absolute crosses and going up. You know I what I mean? About that, that, that was the old Shaw. That was the old Shaw but, that I was getting behind. But. Having your opinion, this ain't North Korea, right? The fact that you're 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 throwing cigarettes at certain people, you're hounding them at away games. To me, it shows you that you've lost the argument. You've literally lost the argument. Well, there is no verbal battle. Yeah, yeah, and, and all you're acting out of is pure emotion and the fact that you can't stand. And this is I'm gonna say this is a fact that uh, every minority, especially black young people, are getting involved in football. We're that, we're that integrated More than now. ever now. Yeah, we're that integrated now, yeah? We are interested in football. We're integrated into the society and we love football, right? And we have a voice and opinion. So, your, your unconscious biases and your unconscious deep races buried inside you, you need to have a word with that. Go and see a psychologist. We can't help you. You go and see a therapist for that. We can't help you. And as far as the cocaine and getting smashed, that is just what you do. But don't come for people when they're on their own and four or five men of you are, are, are surrounding him, right? Knowing that he's only one man, right? So that just truly shows you about who you are and everything that you are. And it ain't North Korea. Everybody's allowed to have an opinion, mate. And that just boils down to, you know what I mean, the different cultures. We live in two different cultures. Yes, I get it. People see football in different ways. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, everyone loves the United as much as you do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A guy who lives in China is no bigger fan than you are. You know what I mean? Everyone is an equal fan. These people are getting up some mad house watching United. You know what I mean? Mad house, mate. And, 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 Yo, and shout out, Fernand. Shout out, Fernand. Exactly, Fernand. Shout out, Fernand. You know what? Solidarity with the people of Australia, obviously. Yeah, the yeah, right fires. now, the bushfires, yeah. You know what, Fernand? I've not tried to get in touch with you on Twitter, get but. You know, you know what? Just go show. You know what? How dare people say, you know what? 
the, the, the everyday going match fans. What, what, how dare people speak like that? LJ, yeah, everyone watches Man United. Man United do not give special privileges to yeah. certain people. Say, yeah. you know what? You know, you over there, mate, I'll give you a season ticket for free because you're a top red. You know what I mean? That's what I call them. The and top why red. do I don't you? Who, who, who says I'm a top? You know, I'll be cringing and be embarrassed to call myself a top red. Sure. What does a top red mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? And what that's does, a, football team you support is a football team you support. Yeah. Unless you're one of those people that. When the team does bad, then you want to go and change support something else. <laughs> actually, those people who are critical, right? People who are critical about the structure of our club actually care more than those who are like, oh, exactly. we've got to back the but club. We're diving we've away from the real the problem. The real problem are the Glazers and the Woodward. But if you want to carry on say fan cams and all this, yeah, and the fan media are bringing toxic toxicity to the club, yeah, then you're wrong. Woodward and the Glazers are a real problem. And you need to use your energy on them. Right now, they're willing. They're laughing at us. And, and fans fans are, are fighting amongst each other. you got Oli as a social as manager. I'm happy. You know what I mean? Still, shares are coming in. Prices are coming in. We're still getting season ticket sales. Don't worry. We're all laughing because in the end of the day, we've done our job. And that is what we are doing now. We are all more pissed it's, now. It's stupid because we don't, if people say we're part of the, or we're, we're to blame for the, the club's demise, like, the club doesn't want to identify themselves with us anyway. Wow. They don't that want to is, identify that's themselves with us. That's a reach and a half. Anyway. Who the hell are we? Like, it's, it's, it's like we're in the dressing room telling people what to tell the players what to do. We're no, not we're, in the we're, rooms. We're, we're, we're scouting, we're scouting players. We're exactly. Not, we're not in contact. <laughs> do you think let, let let get, Woodward does about every chance? Yeah. Let, let, you know me get, let me get this straight here. Yeah. We're not in the dressing rooms. For those who think that we magically are, we're not in the dressing rooms. We've got nothing to do with the, 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 the training sessions. People are not even allowed to go Carrington. Other clubs have public training sessions. Exactly. Don't have we don't, they're 15 okay. minutes they allow as well. Exactly. So a 15 minutes, that's for journalists. That's for journalists exactly. as well. Exactly. So we don't have to do anything with that. We're not in contact with any of the players. No. Okay, some of us might be in contact with individuals. But individuals we're not and in whatnot. contact with yeah. every player of the squad. So people saying that, you know, if the club is doing bad, it's because of you. Yeah. No, and it's rubbish. And people saying that, you know, um, all these supporters from with a London accent. But have you ever heard Arsenal fans saying, if you're not from London, you're not an Arsenal fan? <laughs> no, That's never. Rubbish. So what about the American? Robbie, Robbie, what? Robbie interviews what? people who come from America. Exactly. And India. What about the American fans, the American uh, Arsenal or United fans? What about the Asian American and Arsenal fans? Are they not Arsenal United fans either? Because they don't um, speak like with And then you think or, I was slating Oli when he started, accent. when he came up the job. I was saying Oli's doing brilliantly. Exactly. You know what, we've got we, an idea. We all live around Manchester. You know, know what I mean? You know, anyway. and if it, we only reflect to what happened on the pitch. If it's going great on the pitch, we won the Champions League and everything, yeah? You we see how this guy gets people. excited after two wins? That's what I'm saying to you. He's over the moon, mate. <laughs> exactly. He's like, I have to bring him back down to the exactly. exactly. I have to Facts. bring him. He starts growing wings. Facts are, the three big moments where United stand peaked was when we won the Europa League. When FA Cup uh, the uh, uh, thingy, the uh, yeah, Paris, uh, Paris, woo, that, yeah, exactly. When Oli got the when Oli went on that uh, unbeaten Three run, months, yeah. when he got the job, that's actually four things, four positive things that made the channel blow. Well, we're now, not, we're we not discussed that, won't we? We used to, we used to be outside, uh, we used to be outside Old Trafford singing Oli, Ollie's at the world. Remember that? When yeah, we were, yeah and I, I remember that as well. When we went be home, home, home and away, we went home away to Spurs but, at, the, at Wembley singing Oli's. But at football the world. is emotions. It exactly. runs high and from the start. Of the the way you feel at the start of the season and the way you feel now is totally co different. Because at the end of the day, yeah. what you see is Liverpool about to win their league title. They won a the Champions League last year. It was under a well. proper structure, yeah. proper club. Yeah. And let's not get it twisted. All you fans there that I think Liverpool don't have the proper structure and they the Bomber Club are deluded. They you know what I mean? We don't want to see it, but they, they're, they're on the right yeah. path. Yeah. Man they're City, doing what we used to do. Basically, yeah. exactly. They're probably one of one well, well, Man, City, Man City have the perfect structure. They went and got the Barcelona guys and they said, you know what, Soriano, Text your brother, Cielo, let's go do the business. Exactly. And they went in there. I yes, bought the... plays before even Pep got before there. Exactly. Got there. So at the end of the day, yeah, is that? all this nonsense about fan channels bringing negativity, then we were all deluded. Because at the end of the day, yeah, the real problems are the Glazers. And we highlight that. The fan channels, everyone highlights that. Ask Fan TV highlight Cronky. Every single yeah. person wants to highlight their problems. But if you don't want to talk about that, and you're in this old other dimension about Ollie's going to do this and that, yeah, then you're all wrong, yeah. No, 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 Respect your opinion. Really listen, yeah, respect. I respect all of them. But you can't like, damn someone. What I mean is, you can't damn someone that says he has yeah, a different course. opinion. Of course, like like I said, I totally as somebody who and Aaron is not Aaron's not firmly saying get him, get Ollie out. He's saying we want to see a structure and a game plan that we did when he first took over. Yeah, and that's what we want to see. But I said Ollie out, Ollie in guy. 
I can't defend certain actions of Oli. And I understand people who are Oli out. I understand that. I totally understand where you're saying Oli's. But I'm, I'm saying Oli's hands are, be are tied behind his back. And Oli's coming out defending the Glazers and defending Woodward and almost channeling. Like I said, yeah, I put it out yeah. there to me. He's channeling Woodward. Like, do you know what? Well. And today, about, about, even today, in the press conference, he's mentioning the money. Yeah. I mean, what kind of manager? <laughs> when you're race. a manager, you're in desperation. You've only got two midfielders to choose from. You've got back-to-back -back City. You've got a Liverpool in there coming. Yep. You've got an FA Cup game. Yep. You've got a couple other league games yep. coming yep. up. And then you've got your two other midfielders that are out for what? They're out for what? Co months. Compared three months, right? Yeah. Yeah. One a month, the other one two months. You are then coming out and saying about money, right? And month. also... What? Yeah, Man yeah. United make money, Glazers make money. Those money that's, that belongs to the fans worldwide. Mm. And not all just the fans who go to the stadium. The fans that who are buying merchandise. The fans mm. who, who who click onto every, every single person. Subscribe to MUTV and, and also, yeah, just to end on this bit, on the end of bit. If I'm gonna social was to get fourth, yeah, and, it, and, it, and we did well to get fourth, it'd be an argument to say, you know what, it should it should have the, the job for next year. That would be yeah. an okay argument. Because you yeah. know what? Yeah. It's got top four with that squad. Yeah. And you know what would yeah, would be me? As much as I want Pochettino, you would see an argument to say, you know what? Only the social deserves well. another chance, maybe another year, yeah. to progress some it. That would be the old argument. But if he's not getting top four and it's going about six or seven, for me, th this question needs to be, needs to be, you know, what I mean, at least question yeah. the no, position no, 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 of the football club. The thing, the thing that I don't like is the thing that I don't like is people or certain United fans are forcing, almost forcing us, people like me and you, or Oli out. They're forcing us to like him, or they're forcing us to say he do he doesn't need to go or he needs to stay. Like. It's almost like every time we lose, we need to be smiling and say, nah, it's okay, it's exactly. fine. Like, yeah. it's, it's almost like we don't, we're not allowed to be no. angry anymore. Yeah. No, just quickly, and, and last, last point, last point, point. Last, 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 last point on this, right? Yeah. If, I, I know, because I know these guys, you know, off, 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 off the podcast, I chat football with them, we, we have a WhatsApp group, we talk football, we've been talking football, I know what, how, what, how, what do you how reckon they it's down to listen, listen, football no, listen, as well? Listen, as in, like, you yeah, watch yeah, all the listen, football, listen, yeah, listen. I feel like these United fans yeah, only yeah. watch United, listen, yeah, that's true. it's how they see, it's, it's how they see football, right, for me, the key thing to these two guys, I know they would take United finishes 8th or 7th or, or whatever, if there was a structure, and in some of the games we were unlucky, but we could see a plan, a structure, a style of play, yeah, yeah. To me, the reason why I wanted Mourinho out, because Mourinho low block football was killing me. And I said, and I kept saying on a fan cam again and again, and on a podcast as well, I kept saying even when Mourinho was here, we need to get a, a, a coach, a guy that has got, so we can see a vision. Clock when it w went into uh, Liverpool, he had a vision. Everybody bought into it. As fans, the, for the first, not that we were winning games, but we bought into the way we were playing. Yeah. Yeah. The way we were playing, mm. right? And Oli has fallen off that. Somehow in the preseason, he's gone off that. Yeah. He's come up with a different formation, which doesn't even make sense with certain things. And sometimes I question his substitution. Like I always said, I criticize Oli on substitutions, on, on tactics, yeah. on, on game management, all of these different things, right? And sometimes I'll blame the 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 the, 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 the players because the players are that. But I know if if they like, especially Aaron, I don't say that. I, People have made it like some sort of person that you hate Oli. Yeah. You don't hate Oli. No. He doesn't. He don't know Oli. Yeah. He doesn't have. Any, he just wants his club a structure and a way of style of play, and that is going to improve. Mm. And that with the right players, a system that can take us forward, that can get us back challenging. And I saw Oli in guy how heartedly. I'm not seeing it. Yeah. I'm not. I can't defend that. But that doesn't mean I want to get rid of Oli because I believe Ed Woodward should not be allowed to sack. Because every time we get a new manager, he can't we have the to right reset. Next one. Yeah, we reset, yeah, and yeah. then we're in chaos again. Yeah. So this is what it comes down to: is a game of opinion. Mm. Some people were Jose in from day one. I was a skeptical of Jose. And you know what? I knew what Jose was going to do. I knew he was going to live in a hotel because he didn't want to buy into living in Manchester. And he kept making excuses. Yeah, you yeah. know what? You hire a chef, mate. You hire a chef. Hire a cleaner, mate. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? People but, do that. But, so, but, so to me, I'll wrap this up. We're not in North Korea, like I said again. We're not in no dictatorship. Free will. Free I'm, I'm Man United. We're all fans. We all have opinion. The thing that we should be all united against is the structure and the ownership of our club that's got us to this downfall. And like he said before, right, a couple of minutes ago, they're laughing. They're laughing. They're absolutely loving it. And I don't. And you know what? Seriously, aspect to me, don't think as, as somebody. Well, the skull doggery will be that bit that might, some people might think I'm conspiracy theorist. Well, these guys getting paid so they can have a bit more coke and go and surround man on an away game. Would they, are they getting paid unofficially by the club or some people yeah. who's close to the club? Because to me, what do you do? If the fans are united, what's going to happen? Yeah. The, all eyes are going to be on who? Yeah. 
the Glazers, yeah. Woodward. Anyway, got walls on the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> we're out, mate. We're out. I'm going. Already, said that. We're out, mate. Already, we're no out, chance. Mate. We're out, mate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be there. We're out. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. Be yeah, there. shout out to you, man. You know what I mean. You know what, my mate? First, Wolves, first, it's not the best game you want to play. My first time mulling you might be the last as well. <laughs> <laughs> but Aaron, you don't want to be playing. You don't want to play Wolves, bro. And uh, yes, they lost against uh, Watford, but did you see did they lose they against did? Watford, by the way? Yeah, uh, no, they lost against uh, Watford. Was it? Yeah, Watford. Yes, Watford. Yeah, Watford. Watford. Yeah, yeah. Watford. Yeah. Two, but two, still, one. did you see what they did to, what they did to City, bro? Yeah. Did and you know what? You know they could have played that like, with eleven men if you City had eleven men as well. I'm scared of. Luke Shaw against Adama Traore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, know. It. It's not played. It's, it's not played. No, yeah. Bradley Williams was playing. Bradley Williams. And but and still, 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 bro. It's Adama Traore. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I mean? Listen, I, you know what? I, you know what I said about that guy? Yeah, <laughs> heavyweight boxer. <laughs> you know, no, no, middleweight boxer. First time to be shot on, man. You know what he said? Listen, he said middleweight boxer. He said, he said he's, he's not doing any gym. It's all natural. I was like, bro. Bloody hell! You need to give whatever. you Listen, you know what? One thing I would say, and that's what that's what I'm saying. There is a bit of a rift. If Oli was, why what happens to Oli? If Oli was to go, you know who I would have? I know that might sound controversial, and not because he's the flavour of the month, because mm. I've been tracking this manager for a long time. So right? you take him, Nuno Spiritos. Nuno, Nuno Spiritos Santos. Santos. Shout out to all the Catholics out there if I've done it wrong. But anyway, <laughs> uh, the guy is a religion. <laughs> Listen, you've got, you, you, call him on the, you call him on God every time you say his name. So, <laughs> But the reason why I would have him, because I am sick and tired of our medical department. You've seen what they've messed up with Pogba. Mm. And that's what it comes down to. That's who they are. That's yeah. who he is, right? Yeah. All of this, saying there's no been listen, injuries for Wolves. Li listen, Wolves, their, their players, their injury record, and the, the levels of fitness in their club and in so their much. team, it's madness, and they mate. The same team as well. And they yeah. play mainly this. They haven't got that much of a big squad, and the guy keeps them fit. Yeah. Right? When any of them get injured, they're back within a week and a half, two weeks. <laughs> it's crazy, man. So, just for that alone, Nuno Spiritos Santos all day. All every the day, Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Because you know what? To me, one thing about Poch, substitutions, mate. I'm already struggling with Oli to defend Oli with his substitutions. Somebody like Poch only ever moved at Spurs at 75th minute. That's the biggest. I've got too close Tottenham. Yeah, yeah, I know what right. I said, yeah. They, I've, I've been saying that. For as long as I'm saying it now, I've been saying that. He doesn't react to what's going on in the game. He might change the shape a little bit, but he doesn't take people off when they're having woeful games. He plays them. And so, as well, if, if we get a Nuno Spirito Santo, yeah, you know there's one player coming straight away. Ruben Neves. I'll just, take him. Imagine know. him in the box. Bro, imagine having football, him. Too, ima imagine having him just sitting there, just spraying balls all over the pitch, bro. That would be amazing. So how do we beat them? How do we beat them? Like, as in, like, you know, because apparently Martial's probably gonna be out. Lingard's out. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't think Lingard being out is not. It's yeah, not, well, like, it's like, not really. Yeah, all due respect. Happy New Year to Lingard. Yeah. I hope you. I hope everything's all right with your family and stuff. Honestly, you know what? For once, for once, for once, for once ever, yeah, I'm thinking of that game, and I'm thinking, you know what? It's not. Nah, yeah, I think it's not, too much for us. Yeah, it's, it's not. Nah, nah, nah. We're not going to win against Wolves. We're not going to win. What well, And that's not being me negative. I just look. I'm at not it, being think, negative. It's just reality, yeah, man. It's it's reality, reality, mate. It's reality. I just don't see how we're going to hurt them. They're just better than us, man. Because once they get their first eleven, it's close to ours, you know. Because we're looking at midfield. Him and us, him and your top are as good as as good as people think they are. That midfield, no, they perform. They perform. That they midfield, perform. I think, is better than us. But see, Leon Nevers, yeah. that midfield with Dead Donk, I think he's you know Dead Donkey. Yeah? He's underrated. That guy. Talented. He's a brilliant, brilliant box to box midfielder. Yeah. Very, very underplayed. Belgium energy, from Belgium. Energy. energy as well. That midfield free, I take over United. Let's get a fact here. Yeah? Yeah. The defense is very, very good. I like that Cody guy, you know. And I oh, take yeah. him at United, you know, that like Cody. I like, I like no, that. What's, what's yeah. the? Um, he's not top Irish guy. Is it Doherty? Doherty, Doherty. Yeah, yeah. brilliant right back as well, you know. Win back. They've got they've got a Saiz guy who's underrated, you know. I think, bro, the guy was on the bench and he somehow worked his way back into the Saiz. team. Saiz, Bowley they've got as well. They've yeah. got a front and they've got a top keeper as well in Patricio. Yeah, Patricio, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? And what the, We're out, Saiz. Stop talking rubbish. Let me tell you something. The only time we ever bullied them, the only game that I've ever seen... Even that game against Old Trafford, they should have beat us. Yeah, yeah, the only time we ever bullied them was that when Pogba missed that penalty. Yeah. We bullied them yeah, in midfield. Yeah, yeah. We bullied did, them yeah. and we were operating. It was about Tom and A. Matic and Pogba, Pogba yeah. in midfield, right? Yeah. We bullied them. That's the only game that I can think about. You know what? That game we deserve to win. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And we should have won, really, because we missed the right? Yeah. Um, um, and Pogba just sent uh, 
Connor Cody somewhere. <laughs> well, he actually sat him down. He sat him down, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, but, the penalty. Well, but for me, the, I'm hard. looking at this game and I'm I'm looking at the way we played against um, Arsenal. Again, Arsenal. I can't see it. I'm sorry to say, but I can't see it. They're at home. It's a cup game. Yeah. And I can't unless they unless he he rests players and he plays the other team and he plays yeah. a weakened team. Yeah. Then, then I think you I know think what, maybe for it. I yeah. think they're really. But really even if the weakened team. The guys who come off the bench play yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. To me, he's a manager for me. What another thing? What I like about him is that players that are might sound misfits. He's he's getting the best. That's he's squeezing yeah, yeah. every ounce every of quality ounce. out of them. And to me, that is a sign of a great manager. Like squeezing out. And the other thing is, well, like, I'm done with Riola. So if if Nuno Spitzer comes, then we get hopefully um, what's his name. Mendes, uh, Mendes, Mendes as, as, oh, as Mendes. one of the super agents. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we might have to sign some of these players. And last time we signed some of these players, Ronaldo and Nani Ronaldo, and these guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. we were doing all right. <laughs> apart, <laughs> apart, apart from, from, and Raiola came along. No, no, this is what I'm saying. Cal, Listen, Cal, that Cal, doesn't Cal, mean Cal. I want Oli out. But I'm saying to you, if Oli was to go, and then we got a director of football, that I'd actually I would hire Mendes as a director of football mm. because what more better <laughs> than an both, agent? What more better jobs. than an agent? I mean, you know what I mean? He's already he's already doing bits um, at Wolves. At Wolves, yeah. yeah. So what would you go for your team? Uh, Finger Romero starting? Yes, yeah, he's Romero, definitely starting. Romero's definitely and he's starting City as well. Probably. Probably. City as well. Uh, left back Brandon Williams. Uh, I would start Swan Zabi in there. I think uh, he's I, was, I would I would start Swan Zabi. He's injured, I think he's injured, bro. Do you think he's injured? He's injured, yeah. Yeah, I don't think he's, he's injured. I, was, I watched the press conference this morning, man. Like, he's injured. Man. He's injured. We, we need someone in there, man, but it's gonna have to be Maguire Lindelof. Maguire Lindelof again, man. And I don't like it because Oh Jones. Think... <laughs> your boy Jones. Listen, oh my man. God. Your boy Jones. I think he might play Ashley Rugger left. I don't, right back, I you don't know? want um, Maguire Lindelof to play because if they play tomorrow. They play again on Tuesday, then they play again on the weekend. It's too many games. Yeah. And at some point fatigue will kick in, yeah. injuries injuries will kick in and it's not good for them. But yeah, let's just go with Maguire and Lindelof or Jones in one of the positions. Uh right back is probably gonna be Ashley Young. I reckon it will be. Um midfield, I reckon he's gonna play Matic again. Uh, Matic with Fred, Fred Fred. And again, I don't want Fred to play every game because he's gonna get fatigued and this all comes down to what we said at the start of the season. We should have bought midfielders. Yep. And if we don't buy midfielders in the next week, like Nudin said, we are finished. Because Fred, at some point, is going to pick up an injury. He's played against... He's played... How many games has he played, he played in December? He's played, he's played every game in December. For, December. for two months now. For two months, he's been playing every, every single game. game. So, Pereira it's, it's going to have to be Fred. Uh, Pereira's going to play in the hole. Uh, and then left, it's going to be Rashford. Rashford's going to play again. He's not going to give him a rest. Greenwood down the middle. But I reckon Green, yeah, yeah, exactly. Greenwood's Greenwood. going to play down the middle and James, James yeah. again, no rest. So he's going to play him on the right. So yeah, But he came off at what, half an hour. Too. Yeah. But similar team. To yeah, yeah, exactly. I, don't, I think the, so come on, the team picks itself. What are you going for? That's squad? how we know we haven't got a squad in it. That's squad pretty quickly. If, um, well, 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 regardless of whatever the score is, we're out anyway. Come, 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 come 7 o'clock or 7.30. On Saturday night. Is there a draw? Is I'm, there a I'm just looking after my no, meal because no I know my, my no replays. replays in the middle, yeah, no, 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 there can be if you can get a draw. No, I'm sure you can get can a replay. Can you get a draw? Is yeah, it? you can get a replay. Oh, a replay, okay. All right. But I, I don't even want a replay, man. I don't even. I just to me yeah, because what's the point? They're going to embarrass us at home. Yeah, they'll, they'll beat us at home. And it's, I, it's obviously, you never want United to lose. But what would you go for? I'm not in terms of what United to lose, but I think they're going to lose. So what? What? That's why I'm being negative for being reality in my head. That's what I think now. If but United listen, were to win. Bottle, top, on this channel. bottle job FC, if they shot me and shot the world and they put in a sterling and like Matic is coming out and having a man of the match performance. And Ricky's like all that. over there. Yeah, yeah, Ricky's, Ricky's <laughs> all over the bank out today, shading like coming Ricky from me. before he wraps up. But I think, yeah, I, I can see I can see maybe 1-0 either way if United were going to win. I, I can see it being very, very... 1-0. I think fun. it's going to be, they're going to, it's going to be tough for us. I think 1-0 loss. That's been the podcast, guys. No the socials. That guy Red Devil, mate. Come oh, at me. It's popular oh, on, the, on the Twitter now. Oh, I'm that therapy, today. mate. And all of those surrounding man, you know where the energy is. Aaron Social before. Bring the energy to me. Turns off. Yeah, Mr. Aaron UTD everywhere. You can find me on there. Mate. Yeah, but go check him out. Subscribe to his channel. Uh, we're nearly at 3K. Go get to him, man. Yes. For the energy, Jared, anytime. We're doing a Studios. podcast, the European Football Podcast, straight after this. So go check it out. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see what we get at Wolves. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, we're going to be hopeful. That's yeah. what the bottom line is. But anyway, like the video, subscribe to United Central, and I'll see you for the Wolves preview. Take care, guys. Midfield, Bye. midfield, midfield. midfield.